world greetings friends it's Denise again with Denise's dancing paintbrush and another collage I've been working on this one all week and I thought it would be a very quick collage was I ever wrong see it's just a little kitty <laughs> and um, this is my fault I just felt like every hair should be put in place like the feathers on the rooster and boy was I getting into it <laughs> but as always I started with the background and I've sped this up quite a bit I must have spent 12 to 16 hours I lose track <laughs> after a while what's more is that this one, um, because I had to use the tweezers with the very small pieces of paper, it made my hand cramp and I had to take breaks often to let my hand relax and get back to normal so I could do more. And that meant this took much longer than I anticipated. I only just finished it like 15 minutes ago and so you are seeing it. What's more is when I start doing really detailed work on something very very small like the little hairs you're going to see in a minute and the little letters there I put there for kitty. <laughs> I tend to hold my breath. <laughs> this means that after an hour of work, I am exhausted because I've been holding my breath, well, for an hour. And you can see all the teeny little pieces that I tore with my fingernails, each and every one. <laughs> am I a dip? Well, yes, yes I am. And the, there you go. I had a lot of fun, but wow, I really put myself through it on this one. I would like to do more cats. See how I'm tearing the pieces? Very, very small. But if I do more cats, I'm definitely going to make them uh, less hairy, <laughs> less detailed in the hair. But this sweet little orange tabby, I felt like it had stripes and I had to do the stripes justice. And so I used lots of color, orange, red, a burgundy, a very pale tan, a yellow, bright yellow, like lemon yellow, and some off yellows, some kind of a creamy yellow. At first, I was dipping each piece in my rubber cement one at a time, and then I could see, oh, this is taking too long. And so I started painting the paper with rubber cement and then putting the pieces down. It went a little faster, but still, I really put myself through it working on this. And so I had so much, so many hours of footage that I had to eliminate some just to make this under 12 minutes. What can I tell you? And so you're not going to see all of the collage process. Sorry. <laughs> well, what can I say? It took so long. I have done a couple of these for friends as pet portraits and I still am willing to do some pet portraits but so far nobody has been interested. I think they make very cute pet portraits especially since I can add things to the picture that you couldn't normally put into a regular pet portrait. Um, I can add words, I can add uh, little little images like you're gonna see later I added um, a lady's face I added the word kitty um, I also added an orange and a half of a moon 
and I think I'm even putting some fish in here a little bit later. So as you can see, I went, I jumped ahead. All the tail is already done, most of the back, uh, one of the feet that's showing. I'm jumping ahead because I wanted to focus on the face of the cat and the body took forever, <laughs> it felt like. And so, I've jumped right into the more detailed facial structure. You can see the red pieces um, are from a um, El Polio Loco uh, uh, ad. The orange pieces are from a magazine. The lighter tan pieces um, from a calendar. Some of the purple pieces are from a, an old wall calendar as well. These teeny little pieces um, really start getting away from me and I had to um, fold a little a sort of a box to put them in or else they just start falling all over the floor which actually they did. I've got a lot to sweep up but here I'm getting into the face of the cat and I still wanted to keep those stripes that are across the cat's forehead and cheeks, little, little cheeks are white, um, an off-white, I didn't use the real white. The only white white I used were on the whiskers. So you see I'm getting further and further down into the forehead of the cat. trying to make these stripes work for me. Now what you're not going to see is that I went ahead and I created the eyes and the nose. I cut them out ahead of time so that I can glue these pieces right next to the eye and not worry about losing any pencil drawing. I cut out a brown piece and then a green piece I glued right over the top for the um, pupil or the uh, iris of the eye. And then I cut a little black slit for the pupil of the eye and I did that and set it aside before I began doing the face on the cat. And that's my work method. It works for me. If I cut out these details ahead of time, I don't have to worry about them when I'm gluing pieces over the top of my pencil lines. You see how I'm gluing right over the top of the nose. It's a good thing I already cut out the nose and as you see I glued it on there, the little pink nose and one of the eyes. Some tan pieces inside the ear. And this is where I'm really holding my breath because, because um, these details really matter. I mean, everybody looks at the face first. I really like how the toes turned out on the back foot there. That just looks just like uh, my kitty. I haven't had a cat in a long time, but I remember very well. There we go. And now time to put on the eye. Oh, I'm gonna do the ear first.
and I need some shadows there for under the feet. In dark, dark blue. And what you're not going to see are the feet. I put all the feet together and just didn't bother to add it to this particular video. But there's a close-up of how the face looks. It turned out pretty well, I think. There's all of the feet and a few details. There's the fish at the bottom left. And it's all done. What do you think of the lady with the, her hair in daffodils? Well, thanks so much for watching to the end. I sure appreciate it. Do come again. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and subscribe. Check out my links. Bye everyone. See you next time.